Here's the femoral vein, lying medial to the femoral artery as it passes beneath the inguinal ligament. Above the ligament, it's called the external iliac vein. The external iliac is joined by the internal iliac to form the common iliac vein. The two common iliacs join just to the right of the aortic bifurcation to form the inferior vena cava. The right common iliac artery passes in front of the left common iliac vein. The inferior vena cava runs just to the right of the midline. It lies on the vertebral bodies from L4 to T12, then on the left cross of the diaphragm. It passes through the diaphragm here to enter the right atrium, as we saw in the last section. The two large renal veins join the inferior vena cava at the level of L2. This is the left testicular vein. The right one has been removed. It returns to the main circulation through these large hepatic veins. The hepatic veins are very short. Their number varies. Here, there are three. They enter the vena cava just below the diaphragm. In this time, to see the inferior vena cava, we'll move the diaphragm downward and move the heart to the left. Here's the inferior vena cava. After coming up through the diaphragm, it passes almost immediately into the lower part of the right atrium. It enters separately from the superior vena cava, which is here.